Hello, everybody. We are here at the XBiz 2024 Awards. I am so excited to be here and so excited to catch up with some of your favorite performers. My first interview tonight is the one and only Alexis Fox. Tell me what you're up for this year. I'm up for a male performer of the year, and also I was part of the big movie Mills Take Miami, and I can't, I hope we win. <laughs> I hope we all win. <laughs> I also want to ask you, like on a personal note, how's your vegetable garden doing? You know, I moved into a new house, but my indoor garden is massive. In fact, I just pruned everything to like this point where I thought I was going to kill it off, and now it's gone back double. It's like harder you prune them, the more they like it. It's like a little S&M with my plants. Plant BDSM? Yeah, it's like, Gage Cat, take that. <laughs> I'm cutting you low. <laughs> Who knew that like planting and gardening could be so sexy, but Alexis makes everything sexy. So when I first met Laura Desiree here, she was interviewing me for Naked News, yet she was wearing a lot less clothing. In fact, she wasn't wearing any. I was completely naked as per the title of the show. And this is my first time not standing with the press on the press line at this thing. It's a brave new world, Holly. You know, it is. And this is actually my first time doing red carpet interviews at the Expos Awards. So it's a first for both of us. Uh, they're lucky to have you, babe. Thank you, Laura. You look amazing. Amazing. The best. You're gonna kill it tonight. Not even Thank worried. You. Holly holding it down here on the carpet. We'll see you, babe. I am here with the most gorgeous and accomplished couple in porn, Seth Gamble and Kenzie Taylor. Somebody here is probably up for a couple of awards. Um, you want to let me know maybe what's what's on the docket? I have a pretty uh, good amount of nominations. I'm director, performer, actor, writer, movie. So basically all the top ones. Have you uh, memorized all of your acceptance speeches? Nope. I always go off the, the cuff. Whatever I'm feeling in the moment, I try to just be genuine. And Kenzie, what about you? It's the first movie I ever directed for Wicked Pictures. It's called Kenzie Loves Girls. It's nominated for best all girl release, so that's pretty cool. So tell me about directing, like how is it different than performing for you? Performing you get to be creative, but when you're directing you get to be like even more creative. Now you guys are both like so incredibly active in the same industry, you're also in a relationship, you're married. How do you guys set aside work and just spend quality time with each other and push all of that stuff to the side? It's difficult. Having a really big workload and trying to find balance is a nightmare. It's hard. <laughs> he said load. <laughs> if you love someone and you respect them and you have communication, like even if you don't have all the time in the world, like that's what counts, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Best of luck tonight, you guys, and um, we'll we'll catch up in I there. I don't think tonight will be hopeless for you. <laughs> oh, shock! <laughs> I am here with two of my favorite girls who just literally tried to walk past me and pretend like I wasn't here, and there was <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not. We love you. We I love saw you, Holly. Oh my God. Let's just spend this entire interview talking about how much you like me. Yes, exactly. And I look, and your ass is fat. And I can we love write that for you. I can write an itemized list of how much I love Holly Randall. I didn't introduce them, but I feel like they don't need an introduction. This is, of course, Kimmy Granger and Demi Sutra. What are you looking forward to tonight at Expos? Demi's nominated for something, so I hope she wins. But we're presenting tonight together, and we're wearing matching dresses, basically. So. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being on stage with my best friend. I, I could not ask for more. I don't think that I would be doing this without her. So I'm really excited for that. I am here with Leanna Lovings. Leanna, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much. What are you here for? Are you up for any awards tonight? Uh, I have four nominations. One's for Best Sex Scene Showcase, Best Sex Scene Vignettes, uh, Best VR Sex Scene. There are two nominations in that category. Any ones in particular that you're the most excited about? Best Sex Scene Showcase. I'm really happy about my scene with Robbie Apples uh, from the Up Close series. Very happy about that. What was your favorite moment from 2023 and what are you looking forward to in 2024? Oh my gosh, you know what? I have too many favorite moments to count in 2023, but I think my favorite one has to have been becoming adult time brand ambassador in 2023. Absolutely fantastic. And then 2024, anything around the corner you're looking forward to? I actually just finished directing my very first two scenes in my own series for adult time. So keep your eyes out, everybody. I am so, so very excited to see one of my closest friends. This is, of course, Danny Daniels and Vic, evil genius. Vic, what do we go by these days? Just the husband of Danny Daniels as you. I can't, I can't. I hesitate to ask, like, what's new in your life? Because you guys are doing so much. So maybe just give me, like, a quick highlight reel of what 2023 was like for you. We are opening a brick and mortar coffee shop, and I'm reopening my gallery, still shooting content, staying super busy with the coffee company and the merch company. 
Ebony and There's and, a lot, there's a and, lot. And the soon to come skincare line. Yeah. What do you guys like to do when you actually take a break from your hectic schedule? Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> and not and not for camera. Yeah. And not for camera, yeah. Regular no camera sex, yeah. How do you get through all this crazy stuff that you do, traveling all the time and still manage to look so amazing? Oh, thank you. Happiness, I guess. I try to take time to for myself and to try to put some time aside to spend time together that's not only working. Is it true that you are really like the happiest couple on earth? Because it sure <laughs> fucking looks that way. Are we super gross? Are we gross? I, I, I throw up in my mouth all the time. By day I'm like, ah, and by night I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's all about balance, right? I'm a Libra, you gotta balance it out. I am here with Nicolette Shea, uh, somebody that I had the privilege of shooting for Playboy quite a few times, so it's really good to catch up. It's been a minute. Yes, hi. Your eyes are like blinding me, like in a good way. Your eyes are on fire tonight. I love it when like people come for me to interview and they just talk about me the whole time. It's yes, great. It's awesome. We love it. What was some of your favorite moments from this last year? Probably just sitting on my couch with my dog. <laughs> Taking it easy is important and something that I think that a lot of us don't do. All right, guys, I am here with Jeff Leach, comedian and co-host of Cherie Deville's new podcast. What's that called? Comic Cougar Convo. Yeah, just started dropping. Uh, first episode has come out and we've been racking up the views. So thank you very much for all the support, everyone. You know, I noticed that you guys are in different environments and dressed in different outfits Absolutely. for each one. I just kind of watched the preview reel. So What's that all about? She digested it. I appreciate that. She's done her research, ladies and gentlemen. This woman is a core professional. Well, we've been doing all these different subject matters. Some of them a little divisive, a little bit provocative, a little bit sexy. The first episode was about guns, which, I mean, you can't get more provocative than that. But we're going through the entire facet of human life and human society, including the future, sex, sex work, of course. We're going to do an entire episode on that. So you've got to keep tuning in every single week and digesting it. And how did you guys come up with this idea? Oh, well, we've been friends for a long time. We played Dungeons and Dragons together a week. We're absolute nerds. So... Uh, that friendship developed over the last five or six years and we're like how do we transpose this in some digestible content for the good people out there and that was the birth of Comic Cougar Convo podcast. Oh my god I love that and Cherie is a good friend of mine and one of my favorite people so you must be okay I guess. Thank you very much by association if nothing uh, uh, outside of that I am an all right person. I am here with the beautiful sparkly shiny Brittany Amber. What are you most excited about tonight? I am presenting and I am nominated for premium social media star of the year so I'm excited about both. <laughs> That's fantastic. 2024 is here. Anything in particular that you're really looking forward to this year? I'm doing a lot of content creation. I cannot wait for you guys to see. And then last question. Uh, biggest pet peeve? Standing in heels all day. That's that, that's just been the, 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 the most recent pet peeve. I wouldn't say it's my biggest one, but it's the one you feel right now. Yes, it's the one I feel right now. <laughs> I am here with Ariel Demure, Corey Easton, and Mary Jane. What are you guys most looking forward to tonight? Drinking, I'm cold. <laughs> Just getting to see all the sisters that we don't typically get to see on set. I'm very excited. And the fans who have made all of this happen. Yes, we're so grateful to the fans. If it wasn't for the fans, where, where would we be? Skid Row? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, you could move in just down the fucking street. <laughs> I do have some plans later down the street. There's a corner that looks real popping. 2023 has passed. So what was your favorite moment from the past year? Oh my God. Oh, Gorgons and Goddesses. I co-wrote it with uh, Mary Jane. I co-starred in it with Tori Easton. It was a sister production. We're reclaiming our power as women in the industry. We have autonomy. We have the ability to make choices for ourselves. It's not all in the hands of some dude just cranking it to our fucking feet without our permission. So we're doing it for ourselves. Buy it on VOD this month. I mean, Ariel, I would ask you what you're looking forward to the most in 2024, but I'm pretty sure it's coming on my podcast in a couple of weeks, so. Gotta stay tuned, honey. Uh, come up and see us sometime. I am here with the beautiful Tanya Tate. What are you looking forward to in 2024? I just love making content for the fans, so I'm gonna be making more content for them. I've got my toy, Feel Tanya, so it's um, a toy that the guys can go and fuck me. And of course, I got my podcast. All right, I am here with Adam, the guitarist for the 
Calamatix. I just could not get that fucking name right. So you guys just released your first single. Tell me about that. Uh, it's just on Hellcat Records. I've been working with Tim Armstrong from Rancid. We're so proud of him. We're so happy about it. And just go over and give it a stream. What is the song about? Raylan, so uh, Skin Diamond is the singer of the band. And she sings. We love her. Yeah, she sings from the heart about just uh, intimacy and love and connection. So it's really just a beautiful song. She's got a really like a soulful voice, right? It's a deep, sultry uh, sound. And Tim really helped bring us out that really unique character for her to create a great record. I am here tonight with somebody I am so excited to be working with on a very big project for Joy, the one and only Lexi Luna. Hi, so glad to be here. What are you up for this evening? I am up for MILF Performer of the Year and also a virtual reality scene I was a part of is nominated for Best VR. So January is a hectic month. We have expos, we have ABN coming up. What is your self-care routine during such a crazy time? I have scheduled a massage pr before and after all the events. Oh my God, that's such a smart idea. I really wish I had done that. <laughs> What do you think is your best and your worst characteristic? The best characteristic is that I'm loyal, almost to a fault. My worst characteristic is that I am a little flaky if I am not really committed to something or if it just isn't like the thing that I really want to do. Interesting, because you have a reputation for being like incredibly dependable and not flaky in an industry with a lot of flaky people. So I'm surprised to hear you say that. It's just more on like the personal side of stuff. I love doing all of this. All of this makes me really happy. So it's easy to be like, yes, I will be there with bells on. Well, have an amazing night, Lexi. And it was so good to see you. You too. Thank you so much. I am here tonight with the legendary Siren De La Mer and Rick Stronghold. You know, I've had a lot of people request that I should have you on my podcast. Maybe we need to have that happen this year. You know, I think so. I would love it. You and I would have the best talk ever, I think. Anything that you guys are up for tonight that you're really excited about? Or are you just here to support your friends and the other industry professionals? A little bit of everything, but I'm uh, nominated for Milk of the Year. That's got to be <laughs> the one that I'm hoping for. And as an industry veteran, what is your best piece of advice that you would give to new talent? Be yourself, but be strong enough to stand up for yourself and if there's something that you don't agree with or you feel uncomfortable with speak up right then and there don't wait until it's too late and what do you think contributes to the longevity of your career and your success uh, I'm a MILF <laughs> <laughs> I love what I do and I've got extremely loyal fans those loyal fans are definitely like on my ass about booking you for my podcast so I feel like we need to make that wish come true we do absolutely we do I am here tonight with Maitland Ward who is no stranger to award shows or going up on stage to collect many of them so what are we up for tonight um, so I'm excited I'm up for um sex scene in my uh, the featurette that I directed and wrote. So that's like a different kind of genre for me. But I'm excited tonight also to present the final award for overall performer of the year. That's a big one. Yeah, I won that two years ago so it's like it feels like passing it on. And <laughs> the last time we spoke you had um, you were on a book tour you know talking about this incredible book that you wrote that came out that did really well. How are you feeling about that now that like that's kind of all over? Are you going to work on another one? It's funny it like continues on like my paperback is coming out next fall. I've been working on two other books too. Well, it's incredible that you're such a multi-faceted, multi-talented person and I wish you the best of luck and it was so good to catch Thank up. Thank you. Good to see you too. I am here with Ella Darling, the queen of VR. Ella, how are you doing tonight? Kicking ass. How are you doing? I'm doing really great. So uh, are we up for anything this evening? No, but I do have a replica of my pussy being released through Real Doll, and my podcast, Ill Repute, just hit Top 50 on the History Podcast today, which I'm like over the moon about and had to tell someone, so you're the one I'm telling. Oh my God, how exciting! You know, I got the pleasure of attending the VR panel that you hosted at Expiz. Um, anything in particular that you're looking forward to in the new year? With regards to VR, I am really excited that we're seeing more talent move into the director pool. Amazing. I love it. That's what I'm psyched about. More performers doing cool shit in VR. Ponytail gang. I'm feeling very brave about my forehead today. I don't usually show this much head. But you give a lot of head, right? I do give a lot of head. You Giving so much head tonight. Yeah, this is five heads right now. <laughs> in case you didn't know, I am, of course, talking to the breakout star, Kazumi, who really got to where she is today all on her own. Oh, my God. I was helped by my surgeon and maybe God a little bit, too. Shout out to God and her surgeon. Yes. And shout out you, because a lot of people know me from your interview. Your interview was really, really interesting. I like I was a really good interrupter, um, and I learned to stop interrupting as much. So I'm happy that I grew from that experience. You know, that's something that I learned as well when I first started my 
podcast, I got a lot of complaints that I interrupted a lot, and I've I've gotten better. But sometimes you get so excited, you want to say what you want to say before you forget it. I'm lost in your beautiful eyes and your breasts and everything, and I just had to talk about gangbangs for two hours straight. And nobody talks about gangbangs with the kind of passion and commitment that you do. That's the, that's the creme de la creme for me, honestly. If you guys haven't seen my interview with Kazim, you should definitely go check it out. It is one of the best for sure. And you're one of my favorite interviews I ever had because you treated me like a human being. <gasps> Wow! We do our best to try to humanize people and also talk about gangbangs too. I am here with the amazing Jennifer White who had one of the most popular episodes on my podcast last year. People really reacted positively to it. How are you feeling about it now? I feel incredible about it. I don't think you know like how much that did for me. It just like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Like I waited so long to tell that story. So thank you so much for that. Oh my God, that warms my heart so much. So uh, it's the Expos Awards tonight, of course. You have some nominations under your belt, right? Yeah, I got six. Wow. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> Can you tell us maybe what is the most exciting for you? It's my first time getting nominated for Performer of the Year, so I'm a happy girl. And my showcase. Those are the top two for me. I am here with the buxom, beautiful businesswoman, Romy Rain. What brings you here tonight? Oh, I'm here to support the industry, the industry that I love so much. I've been in it 10 years, and I can't miss an Expos. Expos is amazing. They treat us so well. And I am a former Expos Performer of the Year, so I can't not show up. Come on. Is there anybody that you're particularly excited about tonight? You know what, I don't really like to play favorites, but I, I will say that it has been a really exciting year, the past, like, honestly, two years of these really new, exciting, engaging performers that are really showing the world kind of how it's done via, like, socials as well as being an amazing performer. So I think we're really shifting over into a whole new generation of businesswomen, and I'm really proud to be a part of that. I have here the gorgeous Violet Myers, who I ran into at the X3 convention a couple of days ago and who I believe had the longest line at the convention. How do you feel about that? It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. You know, Violet has been on my podcast and the one piece of feedback that I see so much is that people find you really relatable and they find you really approachable. Do you think that that's part of why you're so successful? I always tell my fans I'm not scary. Like, I'm really nice. I would love to meet them in person. So I think that's probably why. I'm Anything big planned for 2024 that you can tell us about? Uh, first gangbang. Very, very excited. It'll be airtight. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Like just shooting for more studios. One of my goals this year is to shoot at least 100 scenes. So uh, still early on in the year to do that. I have here Arabelle Raphael, who I had on one of my live podcasts, like the 10 questions. And you were such an interesting, insightful guest. I definitely feel like I need to have you come back on. What are you excited about for tonight? Uh, stoked to be nominated. What have we been nominated for? Uh, MILF of the Year. So I just want to ask you a couple of like random uh, personal questions. Biggest pet peeve? Oh, uh, ignorance? Best characteristic, worst characteristic? Of mine? Uh, best, I'm pretty open-minded and that's pretty great. Uh, worse, I like to put my cold ass feet on whoever's warm who's next to me. That's a horrible <laughs> trait. <laughs> I am here with the gorgeous Charlotte Stokely, really giving old Hollywood vibes here tonight. Charlotte, you look amazing. Thank you, Holly, as do you. What are you most excited about tonight? Are you up for anything? I will be presenting two awards on stage today, Best Girl Girl Sex Scene, as well as Best Gonzo Sex Scene. So we're gonna mix it up tonight. We're gonna have a great fucking time. Whenever anybody thinks about like who encompasses the really passionate girl girl scenes, it's always, it's always Charlotte, right? What do you love about girls so much? Oh my gosh, everything. Seeing how deep I can get my tongue inside their pussy. I think this is one of the big things I love about women is that I get to fuck them. With a man, they wanna fuck you, but I'm like, no honey, I'm in charge. I'm gonna flip you over, I'm gonna raise your hips up into the air, and I'm gonna fuck you with my dick. We should all be so lucky. Charlotte Stokely, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a wonderful night tonight. Thank you, Holly. All right, well, that is it for the red carpet interviews at the Expos Awards. We're going to go inside, we're going to get warm, and we're going to see who wins.